we all talk about interactive web, right? We all think that uh, the web is interactive, but it, it has been interactive at least since web 2.0. That is one of the things that we study the most here in this group, right? Uh, but does the interactive web lead us to become more innovative? Are we able to use the interact uh, this interactive web to create new businesses, even if they are small businesses, based on the knowledge and the, the innovation that comes from the crowds. This is what Rafaela Ardigo is studying, and uh, she will be presenting to us. Okay, <laughs> can you help her? <laughs> not from a five continent area, I'm from business area, so my work is going to be a little bit different from yours because we don't develop nothing <laughs> to apply after, <laughs> but uh, we are worried more in uh, other other kind of stuff. Uh, for you that are um, worried about motivation, uh, I could educate a um, a book that I, stu I studied in my dissertation from a guy from MIT called Peter Rohr. Uh, he, in his book, he talks about a lot of uh, a lot about motivation, and included included uh, uh, your findings are very <laughs> similar to me. So I think uh, it can be helpful to you. Uh, well, um, I'm a war, um, I'm very ambitious to say. In, uh, well, I have to talk a little about, about my history. I worked, um, yeah, I worked, I worked many time, uh, many years in my life in uh, multinational companies, and uh, I realized in the last years that people was working just for money, and they are not happy. Many of them were not happy working in that environment. And many of them were losing their health, uh, physical and emotional. So I, I started to think, well, uh, how, could, how can people work in a more meaningful way? In a more meaningful way? And I think entrepre entrepreneur is something that really can uh, address this, this concern of mine. So I started to uh, research about how interactive web can, uh, can, can create innovative business involving collective intelligence. This is my worry. Well, uh, so uh, this, what I will present for you now uh, is uh, the, it's a systematic literature review that actually uh, will uh, help me to justify my dissertation. Okay, so uh, the, the research question of this systematic literature review was what kinds of business are perceived in academia as able to take advantage benefits of collective intelligence in the context of inter interactive web? What kind of business we are studying in academia? And uh, they uh, have been applied in, 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 the, in, in the markets already or just they are, or they are just an academic concern. Uh, to that, I did a systematic literature review, and as I already told you, uh, there is the, the, the trivial research question. Um, I used the database with the cultural biological scapes. Uh, my keyword in future was uh, world business, collective intelligence, and web. Um, after I applied to actual streaming criteria, there was a peer review, language, uh, full access, and exclusion of non uh, and full access. After a uh, methodological screening criteria, there was 
uh, exclusion of known uh, scientific papers and the places. I begin with uh, 279 uh, 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 papers, and in the end, I was uh, analyzed uh, 94 papers in this systematic literature review. My findings, well, uh, as can be expected, um, what five percent of uh, studies of papers and find were from applied computing, and 37 percent from business, and 18 percent of other areas. So business and applied computing are the, are the, the, the two areas that are uh, that needs to be worried about uh, new business using collective intelligence uh, in the interactive web and uh, actually this is a very uh, it's not an unexpected business because they, they both are uh, areas very applied so it's okay and uh, what has been more what has been the, the big concern of this research uh, there is more more uh, more it's more fear, <laughs> more fear in the in such a uh, social web management business knowledge and learning. So uh, in this sample, the majority of students are related to development of systems and tools with the purpose of knowledge management of huge amounts of available uh, of information available in the interactive web. What does it mean? What it mean is that uh, there are really big concern and develop new systems. These are uh, the uh, these are the, 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 the big concern. This seems to be the, 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 the big concern regarding new business in the interactive web. Uh, develop new softwares. Just develop new softwares. <laughs> okay. Uh, to support these first findings, the papers were classified according to the proposed classification for innovation of a uh, manual, uh, also manual. There is a manual of developed by uh, organization. Uh, Alexandre, can you help me? Oh, 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 the, 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 uh, OCB. OCB. I, I, I will not remember. Organization that. for Cooperation and, and, and Economic Development. Right? And Economic Development. I think that's in Portuguese, right? OCB. Okay, this is a, it's a manual. So uh, in this memo, they classify innovation in four big uh, areas: uh, process innovation, organizational innovation, product innovation, and marketing innovation. Uh, interestingly, 48% uh, of the papers was regarding process innovation, and uh, for, for <coughs> this, 85 percent relate to software for managed services. 15% uh, process to improvement of goods and industrial production, energy and health. So uh, the big high, the big, the big concern is develop is develop softwares for managed services in process. So there is no uh, a concern of uh, develop uh, softwares or uh, or systems uh, to to to. To create new new products, for example, it's just to manage services. Well, it's organization for economic cooperation and development. Uh, following process innovation that represents the, the majority of the papers, uh, the next big concern is organizational innovation, corresponding to 29% of the papers. Uh, 56% of these papers are related with external relations. So. Uh, most of them associated with interorganizational collaboration. I don't know if you already heard about open innovation, but uh, this uh, is very interesting because in organizational innovation, uh, almost all the, 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 find, the, the papers I find are worried about uh, to understand how can we innovate with the collaboration of other organizations. So the idea of open innovation is very, uh, very uh, recent. Yes, yes, very recent, and then it's very, it, it has been very studied. Uh, Third person related with business practice related to knowledge management in five terms. This is another area with 
and uh, with a very large poster of epidemia. And uh, we can see that this, this can really be applied in organizations because uh, nowadays we have a uh, uh, flow of information and people don't know how to manage all that information, especially uh, business people. And you that are from applied procurement, maybe you can uh, you know how to organize that better. Uh, and, and, uh, maybe with this organization, business can uh, apply this knowledge or uh, uh, doing um, other kind of analysis that maybe you are not concerned to do because it's not of your area. Fifteen uh, persons are related with the organization of the workplace. So there, uh, there are not very. Uh, uh, I think it's very interesting because in organization of innovation, <coughs> there is not a really concern about the study regarding organization, organization of the workplace. What for, what indicates for me that uh, academia is not very worried about the professionals who work in that organization. <laughs> so. Uh, and uh, what can explain uh, why, what can help to explain one of the reasons people are getting sick in this organization. And uh, the next uh, kind of innovation is the product innovation. Uh, the first one is just 15 persons. I think this is very interesting because we live in a very physical world yet, despite uh, all this hype of services, and uh, services and technology and information. And just 50% of innovation regarding collective intelligence in web interactions uh, are, uh, are related to product innovation. So it's like people don't need products anymore. And this is a very big lie. People need. So I think this is very, uh, uh, I see this with, uh, um, with a little bit of concern. And but uh, also with a great opportunity of, of, of field of study, uh, 850 persons. Uh, and look, uh, just 50 persons are product innovation, and 85 percent of study regarding product innovation are related to creation of software software to data mining. <laughs> so people are just worried to get information, but. Okay, what do you do with this information? So I think you are you are both very very interesting because uh, it's very difficult to find uh, people really worrying with oh, okay uh, we are we are creating software to better mind but okay and so it's very interesting you know this field like that yeah. and just fifteen percent are related to platforms which encourage the development of physical goods. Maybe you, uh, with your platform, can help people to, to do that. So uh, it's also very interesting. But just 15% 15 15 of the papers are worried of that. So I see some, paper, some, some work of you here. Uh, very interesting because you are, in, you are both, your both studies are very few studied yet. And uh, marketing innovation correspond just to 10 percent of the papers uh, that are analyzed. And uh, what's well, very interesting because uh, in, in commercially, commercially uh, marketing innovation uh, in, uh, regarding collective intelligence and the interactive web seems to be the new big hype uh, in, in the press. But in academia, this is very few studied. Uh, and uh, all the studies are regarding to new forms to promote goods and services. Just to promote. Of course, it's marketing. So, but there is no word about, for example, uh, new kinds of embalages. Packages. New kinds of packages, packages or uh, words to uh, so social, and, uh, social and environmental concern. Just to promote. Just to worry about marketing, and also it's interesting because marketing uh, don't seems to be a a area that's considered considered very academic <laughs> because so few studies regarding this. So. Uh, okay, my my.
my final conclusion is a uh, kind of beating wage collective intelligence, in this case, it's interactive web, seems to be associated with artificial intelligence, basically, and Internet of Things. You know, for innovation classification. Don't mind if you are worried about process, organizational, uh, product, or marketing innovation. You are aware the uh, almost all, 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 all papers are concerned with artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Uh, predominant of study related to software development, also for for innovation classification. This is very interesting, but because even in the product innovation, the big concern is software development, just software development. And the studies related to uh, process innovation focus on software development to make decision making to product organizations. So the worry is about making money in process innovation. You have to develop software to help uh, ma managers uh, take better decision making to get money. This is the worry. Uh, in organizational innovation, the focus are on software again. Yeah. For internal collaboration of teams of work. So you have you are worried to uh, have money, gain money, um, taking better decision making, and uh, find new ways of people collaborate better in this end. And the process innovation focuses on development of software again. Uh, to, to foster service with some interest in as commerce. So uh, it's very interesting because the focus of product innovation is not about physical product. Again, it's about software to post, foster service. service. And marketing innovation comes from new strategies of software to product promotion. <laughs> so I think this was, uh, for me, this was a very interesting conclusion because uh, I knew I knew already in my dissertation and understand uh, because uh, I believe people live in a very in a, in a material world and yet many people don't have access or knowledge to develop software. How these people can get benefit of who can do it? So it's what I'm trying to say in my dissertation. And this was very interesting to see the, all the, the scenarios. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shafan. Uh, Any questions? I have a question. So, your area is different. How do you, do you see the field in this study? You get some information about software. How do you think it's really very, very important for the software to solve problems? Because sometimes I, I, I live in some. I think both areas need to talk more because uh, I see that many times you have very uh, great ideas about software and I think this is interesting and in my uh, previous experience in, in some companies that seems to me that this is a really this is a really big problem, for example, in the implementation of new system in a company. The areas don't don't the applied computing and these areas don't talk. So when a system is implemented in a company, uh, many times it is implemented just with the ideas and with the, the, the point of view of one area. And normally it's the area that can do the the can program it. And this is always complained that, well, this is worse now than it was before because they actually do not attend their necessity. So before to develop, just for develop, you have to understand what are the needs of people. I think this is this my view. Yeah. I have some questions. <laughs> questions in the plural. <laughs> oh, no. Can you go back to the previous slide? Okay, so here you have several things to discuss, you know that. And you uh, explored very well and very interesting points uh, you gave us. But first question, when you were talking about 
the second point, organizational innovation, 29%. And then 30% related with business practices related to knowledge management. Then you gave <coughs> some examples about how to manage information. What are you talking about? about this? This, this one, yes. Related to business practices, related to knowledge management in five terms. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I gave you. Let me so, so my question <laughs> is, okay, this is an, an assumption. So my question is, uh, what if the papers are confusing, making confusion about these terms? Actually, they are talking about these papers. I'm trying to talk about knowledge management, mm -hmm. but using knowledge, information knowledge, uh, information management, mm -hmm. because this is very common in this area. <coughs> and, uh, when you try to organize the knowledge of information, making this accessible explicitly in information, you are not doing only knowledge uh, management. Actually, you are doing information management. And yes. sometimes you're doing data management. Data which is management, even, yes. <laughs> it's true. Yes. So, so uh, um, did you notice that? Or is your concept? <laughs> I think, uh, for what I, 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 I read, I, I think that the thing you're not concerned about to organize, then to, re then to really uh, create uh, knowledge. Man. They are more worried about information, organization, than with knowledge information. Knowledge, knowledge creation. Organization. Which I think it's a very mistake, it's a very big mistake because in the end, uh, all that information and all the data, even when they are organizing, they just do more if they became knowledge. Okay, but I, I was worried about you, <laughs> your about concept, me? because when you explained the knowledge management, you ex uh, gave examples about information management and then uh, yes, yeah, yeah. because the uh, uh, organization innovation, the other person is related with business practice, related to knowledge management. Yes, maybe I, I did not have the wrong term here. Yeah. I think they are more worried about information, information management. Yeah. Because you are. Ma and maybe they call it knowledge they management. Call because it, because yeah. knowledge management but is the holy grail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, but uh, it's important to you. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to see this difference, mm -hmm. okay? Give this, the, let the mistakes for the computation area because <laughs> data, information, analysis, everything in database. So, <laughs> yeah. And the second one is the, your reflections about product information because uh, you're saying and you are concerned about that the main product is software, mm -hmm. yes? But, I would say that the product, uh, you cannot consider only the software. For example, uh, I don't know if it's Uber in English, Uber? Uber, it's Uber in English. Uber. 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 Ah, it's horrible. Uber is a software, but the product is not the software. It's the idea. It's the new way of transportation. I, I cannot consider only the software the product, you know? Mm -hmm. Facebook, it's not the software the product, but the new way of relation. You see this? Uh, yeah, I'm provoking. But I, the user is the product. The user is the product. <laughs> to generate, to generate information. <laughs> but the software is also a product. But the software is also a product. It is also, yes, it is. But they it's a lot that the main it includes people and papers. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> can you consider, ju it's just a reflection, okay? Mm -hmm. The point of view. Okay. Can you consider only the software as a product in this case? Because I believe that this 85% of people trying to create software data mining, it's not the product, the intention. Yes, the, to do something to resolve some, to solve mm -hmm. some problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the product is going to be the second step, mm -hmm. right? You, mm -hmm. For example, you build a, a product, a, a software, mm -hmm. to collect data from wheelchairs, mm -hmm. and then you use that information 
in an accessible map. And the product is actually the accessible map assessed. Yes, by that is my point. Mm -hmm. And maybe this 55, it's the low, it's almost the, the second lowest uh, value, but one of the most important. Which one? Because the, this product is uh, innovation. Oh yeah. Because besides they are very low, they are they have more impact. The 15. The 15, mm -hmm. yes. They have more impact because people, almost all people don't, have, don't know how to, to use. People don't know, don't know how to use the technology of Red Hat, even less to develop new technology. And people are very, they are not so, uh, they do not accept so easily new platforms, new APIs. Uh, there are many things in high and these are a little tiring. Yeah, let's uh, just finish the discussion. For example, the, the platform of the guy, the, the platform is not the product in my type of thing. It's the benefit of getting uh, a new way of validating an idea and uh, and maybe this is not a product innovation anymore, it's an organization innovation anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. The use of your product innovation mm -hmm. can um, can make actually a process innovation, an organization innovation. Yes. I actually, I don't put it here, but in my original paper, some of uh, papers are, are were classified in more than one specific yeah, yeah, innovation. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that. And um, go back to one more slide. My, my last one. <laughs> when we put this link on the talk, <laughs> no, there's no schedule any longer. <laughs> the schedule is gone. But anyway, let's go on. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> no, it's very. I'm, I'm really interested in how did you classify the, these areas? Other business and applied, applied computing, yes. What, uh, which area did you put inside applied computing? Actually, I, I took the papers and I searched uh, the, the area of the authors. Computer science is there? Yes. System information is there? Yes. So uh, I, I see the area. Uh, Think in applied computing, you yes. know what, what area they do? Yes, yes. System computing, engineering, computing, uh, it's both. Because then. Computing. Yeah, computing. Because applied research. Uh, information knowledge, uh, there are some courses. Information science. Yeah. Okay. Because then uh, you highlight the, the main. Oh, okay. Okay, there are three main areas, not two main areas, mm -hmm. but the most terms is uh, are social so web yeah. management, business knowledge and learning. But mm -hmm. they are all about software. They are about software. <laughs> mm -hmm. So interesting. In the end, the area I'm getting in touch there are yeah, I think here the uh, interacting more speakers. Shown that uh, academia and system is very interested in about softwares using uh, social networks to learn. You see, the main thing thing is not the software. <laughs> software is a, is a, a way, way to achieve, a way to achieve mm -hmm. other products, other other innovation. Okay. The software may be the product for, for whoever is selling, but it's not the product for whoever is buying. It's weird. But for example, you are, you are, yeah, I think when you were, were mentioning uh, the platform on uh, uh, putting the innovators to discuss with <coughs> other people that can bring ideas, well, okay, their product is, if they ever commercialize that, is their platform. Mm -hmm. The product that their customers will get is the crowdsourcing, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so it's interesting. We, maybe we have a situation here where what is being sold and what is being bought is different, and there is a conversion in the middle of the way that uh, is not very well defined. Yes. I'm oh, sorry for the tender question. <laughs> no, no, thank, thank you very much. In fact, uh, I would say that you, 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 
you, you put us out of the schedule, though you actually put us back to the schedule, we would be fast, fast and very. <laughs> we were very the com computer si uh, science side of uh, this group here is very Objective. efficient. You know, yes. if you gave me 10 minutes, it's going to be eight minutes. Just make sure that I have two minutes for the questions. When we get to business, you know, the, and, 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 and maybe when we and get to women. Concerns. <laughs> and concerns. concerns. But anyway, no, we, 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 we arrive on time. It's, it's good. Uh, thank you very much, Rafaela.